Hello, everyone. Happy Monday or Tuesday, depending on where you are on this amazing planet. Welcome to the Love Train. You guys know the drill by now. First and foremost, let's welcome our newest members of the well of the Love Train. We continue to grow organically in such beautiful ways. Welcome from Thailand. More subscribers in Thailand. Big love to you guys. Dallas, Texas in the house. Welcome to you. More from the Netherlands and Sweden and France. Wow. Welcome to all of you and Seattle, Washington, all brand new members of the Love Train. So thank you for being here and shining your light. Uh, you guys, grab some popcorn. I got some updates. And I'm also going to address some comments. Thank you for sharing in the comments below, by the way. This is this like inspires me to know and to know what to bring forth to uh to help you guys out because we're on this wild ride um and yes i have a you know this -y, <laughs> this thing i'm gonna update you on <laughs> quite honestly i could just show a bunch of flying turds and it might be accurate <laughs> so let's start with i want to remind you guys tomorrow tuesday the 10th at 12 noon pacific time my fabulous soul sister, Susanna Alexandria, will be back. We're going to go live, and we're bringing you guys live activations from angels and guides, and we had so much fun the last time that we decided to do this together on a monthly basis, and uh, tomorrow is that day, so we look forward to seeing you guys here, and yes, we will be able to see the comments and uh, take some questions from you guys like we did last time, so I'm looking very forward to that. Um, there is an announcement also in the community section on that. Uh, next, if you are brand new today, welcome. And if we don't know where you're from, please drop it in the comments below and let me know so that we can give you a proper welcome. Okay. I am so excited for Thursday's focus group. So Thursday at 12 noon is our focus group. Now, for those of you who need to register for the Zoom link, there's a couple of ways to do it. One, I'm going to have a link in this description here below, but also you can subscribe through my website, which is the positivityinfluencer.com. And it's also in the channel description. You go there, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see a button that says subscribe for focus group. From there, I will be sending mass emails with the link to register for the Zoom for you. You can also correspond back and forth with me there because it comes to my email box. So trying to streamline things for you guys and make it easy. I will also post, however, until while people are still subscribing, I will be posting the links here for you as well. Now, I have a really amazing special a uh, guided meditation that came in and it's around the lack energy that I know is really like when I said there should be just flying turds on here. That's one of the flying turds that's going around right now. It's that lack energy because remember it has to come up to go back to the light, um, but we're going to give it a nudge. We're going to move it out of the way and see what's lurking in the background when we move it. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and it was inspired by the energies that you guys brought forth here. Um, so make sure to keep sharing. Um, and then I'm asking for healing for all of us. So um, now I want to also stress for anybody that can't make these live activations or the live group meetings, the recordings do not lose their power. In fact, even those who attend live, when you go back and listen to the recording, it's still going to meet your consciousness where it's at. Remember, we're continuing to like blast forward. So every time you go back and listen, you it's meeting you where your consciousness is at, at that moment. So nothing is lost. For those of you who can't make the live, you can still get all the yummy goodies that come through during the recording. Okay. Now... Uh, gosh, I'm going to get to this. I know, but you know, again, this is not indicative again of what's really going on. Um, oh, I do want to talk about the shaman though, very quickly because my guides tell me to put up a boundary on this. So off and on, I get some private messages about the, the, the shaman and the accuracy of it. So I want to say all of my reports, every single thing that comes out of this, all of it is authentic to me and my journey and my experience. My source is source creator, not, not a space station in Russia. 
my source is source creator. Now, if that is your thing and that is where your energy is driving you to focus, fantastic. But always take what I say, take what resonates and throw the rest out. My guides just tell me, share your experience because it's an energetic transmission. So my words really don't matter. You guys are receiving the energy. They give me, an, I'm communicating with energy. It comes through me and then out it goes. So if your thing is validating any graphs or charts, that's perfect. My reality, why I am here, very clear. I am here to witness a fully awakened Gaia and guide the love train to that co-create with the love train and I'm doing it and not you guys I'm having a blast and I freaking love every single one of you and so I wanted to give that caveat so that if there's any doubt that no I'm not here for scientific purposes and I'm not discounting it in any way I applaud anybody who's here trying to help the planet awaken in any way they can but my source is source period there's my boundary okay my guides are happy Okay, moving forward. And again, always follow your own energy. And if you think what I'm saying doesn't feel true, stop listening to me. My gosh, go to, go somewhere where it feels good always. And I mean, that would be my advice to a client. If it doesn't feel good here anymore, let's go find something that feels good. That's how we go in the 5D. There's no hostages on the love train. This is a free society. Yeah. All right, let's keep it moving. So I have an update on, this is so wild because I did, so we did a quantum healing on, uh, it had to do with the physical body and it was a multi-layer onion. So, but there's one piece that I want to share with you guys right now, because it ties into what I um, spoke about on Friday, which was love, self-love and are you receiving love and are you denying yourself love? That's a big one because, oh my gosh, um, hello absolutely was doing it unconsciously, right? We all say, who would deny love, right? Who doesn't want love? Well, a lot of us were doing it um, because of the separation energies that were happening in the 3D. So this was a very interesting, um, I want to call it like awareness that I gained. And this is that pain in the body. So anybody who's, who's dealing with chronic pain now, not talking about ascension symptoms, which are temporary, right? But anybody who's had like obvious you know, chronic pain in the body. Pain in the body is a combination of energy, emotion, and consciousness. Okay. And here's the, here's the aha. How that physical pain makes you feel is what created the issue. What? Yeah. Keep the noodle out of this one, guys. How that pain makes you feel is what created the issue. So let me give you an example. Six, know, maybe four weeks ago, I went swimming in, at, at, a, at a beach up the road and it's very rocky when you get in. I wasn't paying attention. I was so excited to dive into the water. And as I was leaving the beach, I was like, oh gosh, why is my toe hurt? Well, I had sliced it open on a rock and I gave it a good slice, you know? And so it was annoying. It was annoying because it's on your toe. So I wanted to get a pedicure. I was like, oh no, I don't want anybody like putting nail polish remover anywhere near that thing or massaging it. No, I just want it to heal. And so when I felt into that, it was like, oh, interesting. So, uh, anything, why would that energy come forward? So it meant that I wasn't looking at a situation that was causing that energy around me. And then when you do, you can look at that energy and then heal it, kiss it, send it to, to the light. So very cool. And I'm going to be going deeper into that, but it's, it's a great one. I've been coming with that stuff for you guys to ponder because this pondering is what helps you release some of these dense energies. So how is the physical pain making you feel? Because whatever feeling that is created the issue. So it could be anger. It could be helplessness. It could be fear. Hmm. Okay. So just play with that one. And remember, you're observing it. You're not judging yourself. Don't get mad at yourself because now you're back in the gerbil wheel. You're in the loop. Okay. Next. 
uh, I want to dig in on some of these um, comments and then I'm going to tie it into, you know, this. Okay. So someone wrote, I thought I was doing pretty good. And then wham, I got triggered. Two steps forward and one step backwards. Well, that's what your noodle wants you to believe. We do not go backwards. So, and I actually, they gave me a Canva image that I created for you just for this one. So I want you to know that as we go forward, as our consciousness goes forward, right? The physical body, the emotional body, all of these other bodies are catching up. So things that need to be healed comes up in your face. It does not mean you went backwards. It means you went far enough forward that you were ready to release another dense energy. And I'll tell you, I was totally guilty of this myself in my own journey of going, oh, I absolutely healed that. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I stopped trying to figure out when I had completely let go of something and I allow my consciousness to draw it out. And then I just see it when it comes and go, oh, thank you for coming forward. Good job. Back to the love and light you go. So when you start to be the observer more, be the observer of what came up. Don't get in it and don't say, oh, no, now I'm I'm triggered and I'm this and I'm that. And don't become the trauma again. It it Unfortunately, it comes out the same way it went in. So it ha it's presenting itself, but it's presenting itself for healing. And you are not, we don't go backwards because we are reconciling and completing all of these old dense energies. So you can like, it's on a farewell tour. So give it love, give it love, give yourself love and say, oh my gosh, I'm a badass warrior. I came here to heal this, you know, flying turd, <laughs> right? Give yourself that love and celebrate it, celebrate it and say, oh my gosh, this is coming up for my healing. When you become the observer you don't um, entangle in the behavior and the energy again. So I wanted to share that. And thank you for bringing it you know, forward and, and describing that. Uh, but it really is your noodle wants you to believe you went backwards because remember, it's fighting for its existence. It's like, it's going into retirement. There's no more fear mongering. There's no more struggle bus. There's no more gerbil wheel. So it's like, what? <laughs> what do you mean you feel safe by yourself? What? You're getting your energy and you're from source and Gaia, not me. I'm in charge. No, see, it's all part of that ego consciousness that's having to get healed and go back to the light. Um, what else? Uh, you wrote, my home is one of duality, light and dark personality. So I got a Canva creation. We're going to talk about that because that's another um perspective and i feel like this perspective with the little with a little canva creation is going to help you see that from a different perspective and give you some power in that situation okay um before i get to that one though um someone said oh i quit an awful job and i'm in hermit mode let's rephrase that first of all absolutely if you're not in resonance with what you're doing and how you're making a living these are things that you know it's like okay, am I going to participate in my own transformation or not? You are, you made a decision to follow guidance from your heart. Yay. <laughs> Welcome to the love train. You made a decision that's in your best and highest good. And you're not in hermit mode. You're here on the love train. You're in transformation mode. You're in transformation mode and you followed your energy here because you're co-creating in a beautiful, loving environment. So I want you to make that shift because it'll feel nice and yummy. And you will see that you're when you follow what's in your heart, things come to you, opportunities come to you, the right people come to you for you to co-create with. It just happens naturally. And I'm so excited to see this start to come forward for more and more of you in this process. And it is coming. Okay. Uh, I think I got, a, okay. Okay. That's a lot of the notes. Let me, let's look at this. So this was the weekend. I moved the melon out of the way. 
this, you know, felt like a, a shit storm. Let's face it. This is, again, you can see there's, there's purging, there's release energy, there's light coming into, this is all in the upper, right? Focused in the upper chakras. However, right now it's really about what do you feel? What did this feel like for you? Um, for me on the weekend, <clears throat> It was, it was like that roller coaster of the fog, definitely the fog and not feeling like I could land. And then a period um, like Sunday, which would have been like in this, around this time, um, I felt incredibly grounded. However, I was at the beach. I was at the beach, just really taking in the sun and swimming in the water and being one with the earth, which is absolutely the most healing thing any of us can do right now. We are completely plugged in with her energy. And the more you do that, the better you feel. Now this, um, so th this was taken around 7 a.m. ish this morning. Okay. So this looks right. Very calm because there's no, um, you don't see a lot of purging. We see but I see the beginning of some, some probably uh, light energy coming in, which I do feel. Um, but again, we've got to now say, how do I feel right now? Okay. Because this right now, for many of you feels yucky. Okay. It does. It's the truth because why? Because of what that what the one comment talked about, it can feel like you've taken two steps forward, or for some of you, it feels like you took 10 steps forward and nine back, but you didn't. You went so far forward that you're drawing out the deepest and the deepest that needs as so ready to be healed. By the way, these parts are so ready to go back to love and light. You have no idea. So I wanted to share that piece. And then let's take a peek at the uh, chakra chart. Okay, so here you can see, this is probably indicative of what a lot of you're feeling. It's what I'm seeing and what, uh, you know, uh, what I quite honestly, I could sense it. I can uh, sense it in the um, collective consciousness too. And even here where it looks like there was this, you know, this is that graph from this morning that looks super, super calm in here. For many of you, this is not what you're feeling and what you're experiencing. And so um, for those of you, again, who are feeling the um, lack energy is screaming pretty loud right now, we're addressing that in the focus group with this absolutely beautiful, beautiful meditation that we're going to do a group release of that and kiss it, give it some kisses and send it on its merry way. And then you can see, I can sense this. There's some, um, but I feel like this is more still some purging. So similar to these that's coming in, um, which is what it's supposed to be doing, right? And just remember, you're not you're you're not going backwards, but the noodle wants you to think you are. So for that, um, I want to share a graphic for, and this is for any of you who are in a situation where you're the enlightened one in your house and nobody else is, right? That can that can be a tough place to be in. However, I'm going to give you just a little formula that my guides brought in and see if this helps you. Okay. So I love this. So here's, here's the house. Here we go. So you're saying part of, there is no duality. First of all, in your home, there is only light and a lack of light. So you have awakened and you have unawakened. And so some of us actually chose family partners, wh whatever, whoever's in your house, it could be a roommate chose, made soul agreements to come in to help each other awaken. And that means including triggering and, and everyone awakens in their own time. But right now, the big test for all of us is to not give away your power and don't entangle in their journey. So if they're, you know, on this side of the house and it feels a little dark, this is you, you call in love and light. The love and light comes through you and you just keep shining your light. And whatever that means you have to do, all you do is remember that they too, they too are light and love. 
They just haven't gotten to the point that you have right now to remember it yet. But it's not our place to tell them when to awaken. But how do you inspire them? They're a ship in the dark right now. You keep calling your own love and light and don't deny yourself love in the moment because you're creating. So focus on what you want to create. And you want to create a fully light, lit up house with light and love. So you be it. You be it. And then if they're having a moment, you just go, oh, that beautiful soul is just right. has not awakened yet. That's all it is. So I'm going to shine my light really bright so that when they get curious enough and they're going to want to know what direction to go in, I got the love and the light for all of us. So this is how, this is how we, this is a tool we're all given in any situation. This could be your office, could be your office, call in love and light. There is, remember that, um, for those who have un are not awakened yet, they're still ascending, which means they're going through all of these emotional purges and energetic purges and physical purges, just like you are, but without an awareness. So you can imagine, this means increased anger, increased frustration, increased tension. And so we're really in the meat, meat and guts of it right now, guys, to really just say, nothing's worth my heaven on earth. I know who I am. I am love and light. I'm calling in my love and light. Fill yourself with pure love and light every second you can. Get outside, take three deep breaths, and just protect your energy right now. You know, nothing can attack your energy. The only thing you can do is give it away. So just say, am I giving away my energy right now. So I hope that helps. K please keep sharing because um, this is how I know what to bring forward and what to ask the guides for and give you guys what we need to keep this love train moving forward again uh, tomorrow at noon Pacific time. I'm the fabulous Suzanne Alexandria here. And then on Thursday, we're doing, we've got a yummy, yummy energy healing that we're going to do. It's a beautiful meditation. And we're going to give, uh, you know, it's going to be a going away party for the lack energy is really what it is. So um, again, and a big welcome to our newest members and our OGs. I love you guys so much. I love the love and support that you guys are giving to each other. And let's keep this train rolling. There is good stuff ahead. I'm being shown it and I get it to you guys as you know, quickly as I can assimilate it into something that'll make sense. <laughs> okay. Big love to all of you. And I will see you soon. Ciao.